If we're interested in finding the angle, we can now do it. Now, I want to show you that you don't have to go all the way to the angle to get some information from the dot product. So let's take V to W. We know from proposition 1.2.1 that it's the length of V, length of W times cosine theta. Now, th these lengths here, they're positive, right? Length of V, length of W, they're positive number. And so if cosine is negative, then the dot product is negative and vice versa. And if the dot product is positive, then cosine is positive and vice versa. And so let's look at what this means. Um, if the dot product is positive, well, the left-hand side is positive, so cosine needs to be positive. And let's look at this trig circle. Remember the x value is the cosine. So cosine positive means I'm on this stretch here. And so I'll be on, oh, sorry, this is way too big. I'll be on this, let me blow it up a bit. I'll be on this part of the trig circle where x and cosine are bigger than zero. So this is the part where cosine is bigger than zero. So the angle has a positive cosine if theta is between zero degrees and 90 degrees. And so if theta is an acute angle. So if your dot product is positive, that means your vectors form an acute angle. If it's negative, if the dot product is negative, well, for the yellow part on the left to be negative, the yellow part on the right needs to be negative. And so cosine theta should be negative as well. Uh, let's put red for negative. Well, cosine is again the x. Negative means on this side, right over here. So theta is between 90 degrees, not including, and 180 degrees. And so theta is an obtuse angle. So acute angle, angle aigu, obtuse angle, angle aigu. So now let's do case number three. What if it's actually equal to zero? So for this to be zero, you would need cosine to be zero. And that happens only at this point right on that top half, it's only at 90 degrees. So this is where the angle. And so theta is a right angle. All right, so in the next definition, we'll use what we just did to define what it means for two vectors, V and W in Rn, to be perpendicular, sorry, I need to blow it up again, to be perpendicular or orthogonal. They're going to be perpendicular or orthogonal if the angle is 90, so if the dot product is 0. All right, and then we write V perpendicular to W with this little symbol here with this um, T, upside down T shape. All right, so let's do one example of this. I want to know for which value of K, V and W are perpendicular. So the definition says that the dot product should be zero. So let's see what the dot product is. So I have one, two. 
I have k, k squared. So I get k plus 2k squared. And I want this to be equal to 0. So I'm going to factor. I take k out. I get 1 plus 2k left. I need this to be 0. So either k is 0 or 1 plus 2k is 0. So k is 0 or this means k is minus one half.